Hello, this is Haku Jabin, and today we are going to reading Backrooms Level 169, also known as Welcome to the Desert. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival Difficulty Class 1 Safe, Secure, Minimal Entity Count Level 169 is the 170th level of the backrooms, discovered on 14th of May, 1998. It is a finite level with an appearance of a North American desert wasteland. Description Level 169 contains canyons and dry terrains. It is approximately 551 kilometers in diameter, or 317 miles. Spending long periods of time in the level can cause heat exhaustion that can lead to sensory and visual hallucinations. Many wanderers report hallucinating, symptom hallucinating symptoms similar to that of hyperthermia after hours of traveling to a level. In this level, the full day cycles could take for 48 hours. In the daytime, the temperatures can reach 42 degrees Celsius or 107.7 Fahrenheit. At nighttime, the temperature can drop to... 1 degree Celsius or 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And by the way, um, 0 degrees Celsius is freezing. Literally, like your water will be frozen, like water freezes at 0. This desert is round in the shape of area and finite. The wanderer can travel to the end of the level by traveling from the center of the desert for any to any direction for about 250 kilometers. At the end of the desert are cliffs that seem to drop off into the void. All forms of water, including on water in the level, turns into sand. When water is exposed to the sunlight of the level for longer than 6 to 7 hours, all water in the body will, uh, will turn into sand, killing the wanderer in the process. Waterers are advised to cover their entire body and seek shade while traveling to a level. An autopsy of one of the modified corpses showed that the skeleton was deformed and that the body had completely dried out, being filled with sand. At the center of the desert, there is a well that functions as the entrance to the level. From here, a wanderer may be able to see a house from the distance. It is recommended to go towards the direction of the house since it serves as safe shelter. Entities. Fortunately, there are no dangerous entities at this level. The only entity that can be found in this level is Fairy. Fairy is a sentient fridge that can manifest food and non water inside it. It can fill itself to its full capacity with only food and non water once per hour. Fairy has the ability to also fill other forms of containers within the a level with supplies. It is uncertain how this ability can manifest and how large of a range it has. It has bagged and some sticky notes attached to its door and uses it to communicate by altering and rearranging the notes and magnets. Fairy is friendly to the inhabitants of the level and helps water survive in level 169 by providing supplies and helping water escape the level. Fairy does express sadness once water leaves. Basis, Communities and Outposts Fairy's House Fairy's house, located 5 kilometers to the north of the center of level 169, has a set of people referred to as Fairy's friends. The house has several bedrooms, a kitchen where Fairy is placed, a few living rooms, and a basement. When wanderers arrive at this house, they will be welcomed by Fairy's friends. These people are former wanderers that chose to live in this place. People will let wanderers enter the house and give wanderers an almond water supply from Fairy. Wanderers can ask many almond waters or supply from fairy to aid them to escape this level, or they can choose to live here. But it is not advised because it can take more supply from them for more people to live here. Checkpoints A, B, B and a B half, and C.
These checkpoints act as a supply point for wanderers trying to escape the level. Checkpoint A is located 60 kilometers from the center of the desert. Checkpoint B is located 150 kilometers from the center of the desert. Checkpoint B and a half is located 190 kilometers north from the center of the desert. This checkpoint is a house with complete furniture and a bed to sleep in. Checkpoint C is located 230 kilometers north from the desert on the center of the desert, and the last checkpoint you can find in the level. Entrances and Exits Entrances Methods for entering the level are unclear. All reports on how to enter the level by wanderers who have successfully escaped are varied, though there are a few factors that are shared by many of these reports. These factors include the wanderer is alone, the wanderer is having a problem with their past, the wanderer gets lost prior to no clipping, or the wanderer is in a life-threatening situation. One consistent entrance to level 169 has been discovered recently by an unknown wanderer. This method of entering the level involves no clipping through the wall inside level 288. It was discovered by an unknown wanderer. Okay, you said that twice. Exits. Exiting the level involves reaching the empty desert and jumping down the cliff. Doing this will result in a wanderer waking up in level 11. Usually, in reality, jumping off a cliff would be a bad idea, but this is the backrooms, which is more based on video game logic. Anyway, that was the desert. I think desert areas are, are sometimes one of the more interesting ideas as for an area. I feel like when you have like, uh, like the back rooms or, or something like this, obviously they're going to make the desert have a, an interesting, I would say, mascot character. You know. Because you don't want to have it just be the empty desert and your hallucinations. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!